Hello, howdy, and welcome back, folks. It's Root Beer here, looking at the second last question of the 2006 Kaylee contest. So, Anne and Brenda play a game which begins with a pile of N toothpicks. They alternate turns with Anne going first. On each player's turn, she must remove one, three, or four toothpicks from the pile. The player who removes the last toothpick wins the game. For which of the following values of N does Brenda have a winning strategy? And nicely enough, for those of us who don't know uh, the terminology from game theory, in a game, a player has a winning strategy if, regardless what the other player does, there are moves that she can make which guarantee that she will win. Okay. So, looking at our, our numbers down here, it's entirely reasonable that if we had enough time, we could probably try and play these games from, uh, from both Anne and Brenda's perspective, trying to do their best. Um, if, if the numbers were higher, I would suspect, like, if these were, you know, in the 2000s or, or, or in the, the millions or something like that, uh, they'd be high enough that there's no way we can actually play this game, so we'd have to start looking for patterns of Gee, Brenda can only win if the remainder when we divide by 3 is 0, that sort of thing. Um, now, with uh, moves 1, 3, or 4, nothing is immediately jumping to mind. If they were moves like 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, I'd start thinking, oh, Fibonacci numbers. But uh, 1, 3, and 4, nothing really special is, is coming to mind. I mean, there's, there's 4, and 4 is 1 plus 3, but I think that's a trivial observation. So I think the best thing to do uh, with this and other game style questions when you don't have an immediate instinct is to just play a small version of the game. You know, what happens if we've got just one toothpick? Okay, if we, if we start with n equals 1, and wins. She takes the toothpick. Okay, she's allowed to pick one. But if n is equal to 2, Anne can't just take all 2. So Anne has to take 1, and that leaves 1, and Brenda wins. Okay? So we've already identified a starting position where no matter what Anne does, Brenda wins. Now this one's a little trivial, a little basic. Okay, but it's just based off the, the player removes the last toothpick wins the game. If you can take four and, and, and win in a big chunk like that, you're all set. Now for n equals three, Anne just scoops everything up. For n is four, again, Anne just scoops everything up. Now n is n, n equal five, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, what could Anne do? Anne could take four, three, or one. And that would leave Brenda with one, or two, or three, or sorry, or four. Now in these cases, Brenda scoops them and wins. Okay, we know if somebody's staring at uh, one toothpick, they can just scoop it and win. So what Anne's going to do is she's going to pick three, forcing Brenda to have two, and we know Brenda can only pick one, and that'll get one, and it'll go back to an Anne win. So Anne wins with, with five. Okay, uh, now how about six? Well, Anne can pick four, three, or one. And that leaves two, or three, or five. And whoever's staring at uh, uh, three or five wins. So if, if Anne picks three and leaves Brenda three, we know she's going to win. If Anne picks one and leaves Brenda five toothpicks, she knows she's going to, uh, that, that Brenda's going to win. So Anne would have to force Brenda to get two, and that would be another Anne win. Now how about seven? Well, seven... Anne can again pick three, four, or one, and that leaves Brenda with three toothpicks, or four toothpicks, or six toothpicks. But we know that no matter what, whoever's staring at three toothpicks wins. Whoever's staring at four toothpicks wins, and we just learned in the last one, if you are given a pile with six toothpicks, you can force the other person to have a pile with two, and you will still win. Okay. So we start building up uh, a little bit of a, a, a database, you know, for for a given n, who wins? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
we know it's Anne, Brenda, Anne, 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 Brenda. Okay. Um, now you could start to, you could probably pick a few more out and start analyzing. I think we're going to get a pattern. I'm guessing, and this is because I've seen a lot of these sort of toothpick style questions, I'm guessing that it's going to go up by five. So the next time Brenda will be forced uh, to be able to force a win is at 12. But we've got some other ones to check in the meantime. Okay. And if you don't see a pattern, the best thing is that you keep going. Now, the numbers here are small enough. The, the answers here, 31, 32, eventually we might just work all the way back to these. Now, I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. But we're starting to get faster as we analyze this game. So it's sort of like uh, if n is 8, we just ask if, if n takes 4 or 3 or 1, can do, are, are all the ones that she gives previous ones that, that, uh, that would give Brenda a win? So she'd be left with 4 or 6 or 7. Well, hey, 7 here. She can, that, that means uh, that, would, that would be second player wins of that in, in, in that case. So that would be an and win. It should be pa passing it off to Brenda here. Each of these would be Brenda wins. So Anne can win with eight by forcing Brenda to be left with seven. How about nine? Well, you'll you'll have um, five, which uh, would be a Brenda win. You'll have um, sorry, that should be a three, and that should be a five there. Uh, you'll have five. You'll have six, and these are both Brenda wins. And eight. And that's a Brenda win. So I guess uh, eight, uh, sorry, for, so nine, we get a Brenda win again. Interesting. I didn't predict that. Okay, uh, and is 10, what do we have? We've got six, seven, and nine. Are any of those ones where the second, where, where Brenda had one? Yep, so Anne will win. Okay, and is 11, so Anne's staring at 11, she could take 4 to give 7, she could take 3 to give 8, or she could take 1 to give 10. Well, 10 would result in a Brenda win, but each of these would result in Anne wins. Actually, no, 7 would be... Sorry, 8 would be a Brenda win, 7 would be an Anne win. So Anne can win. By taking four, leaving Brenda with seven, and there's no way she can help it, and will win. How about 12? So 12, she either takes uh, four and gives eight, or three and gives nine, or one and gives 11. And uh, if it's eight, we know Brenda will win. Whoever's staring at eight, the first player staring at eight will win. The first player staring at nine will win, so she can, so Anne can win here by leaving nine, and then the second player after that wins. Or eleven, well, that would be a Brenda win as well. So for twelve, she can still force a win. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, hmm. not quite seeing a pattern, so I'm going to. Keep going. I think maybe something will happen with 14. And I hope so, because otherwise then we're just working all the way back to the, the answer, which is fine. You know, you don't see a pattern, but you can still get the question. That's great. Although if you find that something's taking really long, maybe skip and try another question like 25. Uh, so we've got 9. And whoever's staring at 9 knows that the second player will win. So, so that the other player will win. Um, so 9 would be an and victory. And so 13, and can win. How about 14? Well, she could either give 10, but that would be a Brenda win. Whoever's staring at 10 wins. Whoever is given 10 wins. Or uh, just like here, whoever's staring at 9, whoever was given 9, knows that the other player will win. So you have 10 or 11 or... Uh, 13, but all of these are whoever was given that pile wins. 
and that forces it to be a Brenda win. So it looks like it goes uh, a B, four A's, a B, an A, a B, four A's, a B, an A, a B, four A's, and so on. So if we were to just generalize that pattern, uh, we'd, we'd be... So it looks like there's a, a B every seventh after... No, is it every seventh? Yeah, every every seventh one. So two is a Brenda win, and seven is a Brenda win. So that means fourteen is a Brenda win, uh, and nine is a Brenda win. So sixteen is a Brenda win. Twenty one is a Brenda win. Twenty three is a Brenda win. Thirty is a Brenda win. Thirty seven is a Brenda win. And um, 28 is a Brenda win, and 35 is a Brenda win, and one of these numbers has got to be the one that was in our list. So it will be E35. Now, that would be enough, and if I were writing the contest, I'd say, good, I found the pattern, we're done. But it's a little flimsy, and you might want to investigate this a bit more, and that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm saying my answer is E, but let's, let's take a look at it. Suppose that N is a B win. I think N plus 7 is also a B win. Okay. Now from N plus 7, and this is Ann's move, uh, we've got... Um, I want to uh, see it so she can, she can get n plus 3, n plus 4, or n plus 6. And if she does, if she leaves n plus 3, then, um, so that's by taking 4, and that's by taking 3, and that's by taking 1. Brenda can take 3 and, and give Anne... So Ann sees this pile, and takes, B sees this pile, B takes, and that would get it back down to N. And we know if Ann sees N, it's a B win. Okay, so uh, then uh, N plus 4, well, what's, B gonna, uh, what's she going to do? She's going to take 4, and that gets us back down to N. And then... Um, is n plus six here? This is this is the pesky one. I think either she takes one and gets to n plus five, and that'll have to be a win, or she takes uh, four and gives n plus two. Now, if she does this, then she gets. Uh, so she takes one, she, she uh, Anne sees an N plus 5. Anne can take a 4, a 3, or a 1. And that would either leave N plus 2 or uh, N plus 1 or N plus 4. Both of these, you know, she takes 4, leaving Anne with N. Uh, or here she she leaves it uh, she takes one and Anne sees n here she can't do two but I claim that uh, n plus two or n plus five also are b wins and because um, that's the pattern we've seen one of these two is correct so either she does this and it's a b win or she takes four and it's a b win. And that's supported by the data we have here. She's looking at 14, and Anne gives her something like um, uh, 13. She knows she can bring it down to 9 and win. Or if Anne gives her 11, she knows she can bring it down. Or sorry, if she gives her 10, she knows she can bring it down to 9 and win, that sort of thing. 
So I'm more confident in it. If, if n is a b win, one of these two, n plus 2 or n plus 5, is also a b win, and that would allow me to prove that n plus 7 is a b win. So we just needed the, the starting cases that n is 2, n equals 2 is a b, and n equals 7 is a b, and from there we can, we can prove the whole thing. I'm not going to because this isn't a Euclid contest or anything like that that requires proof. I just wanted to justify it a bit more. If you want to, you can prove it. Uh, but I think that's it, and we're going to move on to question number 25, which we will handle in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you there.